everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to make tunnel lining. Uh, what is tunnel lining? Well, that is the inner part of the tunnel, which you, you know, if you look inside your uh, railroad tunnels on your model railroad, uh, you will see the, hopefully if you have one, <laughs> you would see the inner part of the tunnel. Uh, normally, the easiest way to do tunnels is to put the portal up with the supports behind it and then uh, this inner tunnel uh, at once and then you build the, the mountain or whatever you're having uh, on top. Uh, but sometimes uh, <laughs> I forget that inner part or uh, you know it, it could be easy to, to have a, a, a kind of liner which, which is retrofitable, meaning you can put it in afterwards. Because that's where I'm right now. So I've been thinking a bit uh, and then I, I realized that this could be made from, from styrofoam. And it doesn't have to be this high density, expensive uh, pink or, or blue styrofoam. It can be this cheap, you know, with a lot of small uh, balls. Actually found my piece on the roadside uh, when I was walking the dog. So, you know, I did a bit of nature cleaning and at the same time getting material for, um, for my model railroad. So it's a good combination. Uh, but you also need to make some, some uh, forms and stuff like that. I'll show you. Let's get to it. We're starting by making paper templates from the tunnel portals we're using on layout. Here are my double and the single. Then I'm folding both of those templates into half. As you see here, I've drawn a line one centimeter inside of the tunnel opening. We're cutting away that so the opening in the template is one centimeter wider overall. With that cutaway, I draw another line, which is uh, also one centimeter inside the edge of the template. And then I cut out that part. The cutout part here will represent the thickness of the liner we will cut out in styrofoam later. And here they are, the single liner and the double liner. So now we're cutting these two part, so we get four in total, two of each tunnel liner. And what we get here is the paper template for the styrofoam. Next thing is to put these on plywood and glue them in place. I use a PVA glue for that. I put the PVA glue on the plywood and then I plaster, I kind of spread the PVA glue using a razor blade. This way I get a very thin layer of PVA glue. If you get too much of the PVA glue, that might result in that the paper expands and bubbles and things like that. When the glue has set, then it's time to, to cut out with a saw the templates in plywood. And here they are. Now to make them stick to the styrofoam during the cutting with the styrofoam cutter, we're drilling holes in them. These holes are 1.5 millimeter in diameter and I make three holes in each of these templates. Here's a 1.5 millimeter diameter steel piano wire. These are typically found in the aero modeling part of your uh, hobby shop and not among the model railroad stuff. You see here they get kind of ugly in the end uh, when cutting, so I'm, I'm grinding them a bit with a file just to get them pointy. That way they will go into the styrofoam more easy. After that I fold the non-pointy end. All right, then we're ready with the plywood uh, parts. So then we can start cutting and we do that from styrofoam. So this is the piece I found roadside. <laughs> Let's get to it. I've now put the three piano wires in each hole in the template I made previously and I kind of screw them, push them into the plywood so the template, the plywood template sticks firmly to the 
styroform. And then I compare both sides of the... So the templates are aligned. And I push the piano wires into the other side as well. With the templates in place, it's time to do the cutting. I do that with the styrofoam cutter. I have a tutorial on how to make a really simple type cutter like this one, made from three pieces of wood, two screws and just a cantal wire and a battery charger. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. So the link is up in the right hand corner of the video. With current 4.5 amps through the thread, it's cutting quite easily through this uh, low density styrofoam. When you've cut the desired number of tunnel liner sections, it's time to give them a bit more fancy surface structure on the inside. For this I'm using a sand based plaster which is a kind of wall plaster you use for when you redecorate at home and I just spread that with my fingers on the inside of the tunnel liner section. After that I just dab my fingers on in the wet plaster and I get this kind of surface structure. Then it's time to paint. I mix black, white and a bit of burnt umber to get a kind of general gray tone on the inside. Unless you put lamps inside your tunnels, you don't typically see very much of the walls inside the tunnel. So, you know, this is just to, to get, give it a, a nice gray tone. I thin the paint also with a lot of water so it kind of floats over the surface. I don't want the paint to be the surface, but the plaster. If you like, you can do like I do here. I add some details on the inside, not along the joints though. And then we're ready for assembly. I glue these with a PVA glue. And I put the glue in place first. And then I fit the portal or the lining sections in place like this. This is a really hard to reach area just to show you that it works very fine also to retrofit using these sections. Normally if you do this before putting the mounting in place you can just put a bent curved piece of thick paper or something. It's really easy to to do it. And we're done. So, no more light in the tunnel, just in the end of the tunnel, as it should be. Well, that was kind of easy. Once you get the tools done, then it's a, uh, you know, very quick job to make one section. And also, you know, these are very convenient if you have curved sections just after the portal, because it's just to cut them. So, in, in an angle, and then you have your your nice liner there easy PC. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you did, please help others to find this by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it uh, on your favorite forums. If you got questions, you know, whatever, please post it in the comment field below and I'll respond to them as soon as possible. If these videos help you with your hobby, please remember that all of this happens just because a few of you viewers are supporting the channels with like one, two or three do dollars per month. So that's all it takes. So if you want to be one of the good guys, uh, please get on to Patreon and uh, sign up for Märklin of Sweden there uh, at the level you like or make a one-off donation on the PayPal link found in the video description below. Please subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification once next video gets published. Until that happens, see ya!